Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 333 bringing you another live cast of Acron. This time, I think I actually have a really good bitrate. I'm getting 700 kilobits per second, and that's exactly what I expect. So, this game should be very smooth. And this game is also between Twilight Eyes and Dolmont. Dolmont is in the. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the. <laughs> this isn't quite the display I want. This is the display I want. Here we go. Dolmont is in the top left corner. I'm playing back here. Twilight Eyes is the bottom right corner. She hasn't chosen her race, as we can see, but she is going to be Grekim! And she is going to be starting out, just hanging out, actually just chatting a bit. Currently paused, setting up her economy, likely, getting her Faro and moving her Arcticus over to tank, as most Kraken players do. And of course getting her Faro set up for generation. While Dolmont is going for a highly economy heavy build, which is all LC, interestingly enough. A lot of Vector players, I know I've been doing 5 LC, 1 QP, and that's really good for having an early Zion Pulsar getting really early depot in vehicles, but it looks like Dolmont's going for a slightly later strategy, slightly more, either really heavy rush with no teleport, or slightly later rush strategy with, or not rush strategy, slightly later tech economy strategy. Looks like he's getting his Zion Veer set up pretty well for building more RP, or at least his setup is natural, so it looks like he's, yes, he is intending to build more RPs. So yes, this is definitely an expansion heavy build and not a fast tech build, as I'd assumed. Though he will definitely have, an, actually no he won't, he won't have enough QP, or very little QP. He will not have enough QP for a Zion Pulsar right as this gets built, but he will have close to enough, which it will be a bit delayed, so it's not, like I said, a major rush build. This is more of a tech build. Trillion Eyes, on the other hand, is going for, actually, he's probably focused on when she is, about 30 seconds down from when we were, the 140 mark. We see that she is focused more on the rush heavy, well, maybe rush fast tech build. 5 LC, 1 QP, it depends on race. Vecchio, like I said, that's more of a rush heavy build because you can get quick Zion Pulsar with skip teleport. With Grekim, it's more of a build that's focused on. Oh, actually, Trillion has to jump forward. She realizes that she's getting attacked by some scouting forces from Dolmont, and she, otherwise, she's not really focused too much on anything else. We're at the 155 mark right now, and not much has changed in her strategy given that attack. She's assuming it's an Echo Scout from the looks of it. And Dolmont, on the other hand, does appear to be committing to that attack. He hasn't gone back to undo it. He is getting a Zion Pulsar fairly quickly with Teleport. It's more a matter of timing. You can get a Zion Pulsar about, I think, I think I usually get about 2.30 or so, but it's not a huge deal. It's a small timing change, but a lot of players do go for it as the rush build. So, like I said, Dolmont's going for more of a protected rush with economy builds, focusing heavily on getting RPs and very safe economy before going for a rush to support that. Trillion on the other hand, actually is managing to counter this pretty well with Octopod of Roan, and that will be enough. So she is getting an Octopod at the 237 mark, and will be using that very effectively to get rid of Dolmont's scouting forces, which Dolmont, well, I don't know if he's going to echo them out, but he's certainly going to lose them before they deal any real damage. So Dolmont realizing this, he's going back, and looks like he is not actually changing too much with these guys. He's, nothing, he's not changing a thing with them, at least not yet. If he is, he's changing it now. And yes, he is. He is moving his Shinvir and Tethvir away from that battle, so that will be an echoed out attack. Dolmont will not be losing those forces, which is very good, because Shinvirs and Tethvirs are useful. Shinvirs build foundations, Tethvirs build comm centers, and or comm hubs. Both of them are useful buildings, and it looks like Trillion Eyes, has she gone? Yes, she is going for a quick rush of her own, going straight for the natural, however, instead of going for the main... Na na uh, I guess I'll bring the Pathfinding Strength up to 4096. <sighs> anyway, that is... This is this is 1.54, right? No, this is 1.5. Okay, that's why. This is an old version of All of Stone Pass. That's why. This pathing issue that you're noticing right here does not exist in the latest version of All of Stone Pass. I don't know why they're using an old version of the map. But the new version has pathfinding strength that's actually correct, and the units won't have any issues like that. So, anyway, back to the game. Doma is skipping a design pulser. Doing quite a bit of damage, actually. Or will be doing quite a bit of damage from the looks of it in the future. And... Let's just double check. The, oh, right, gotta go and replay. And actually, no, I don't. Trillion Eyes is looking at this damage as it comes in. The Zion Pulsar is harassing right behind the expansion, but another Octopod is taking care of it handily. Dolmont has jumped back. Looks like he's going to be trying to change his attack a fair bit. Moving his Shinvir and Tethvir up, but running into the Octopod this is a very bad move. He really needs to get the Shinvir and Tethvir away from the Octopod and Seppi move back even further. And it looks like he's doing exactly that, jumping them away, pushing them, not jumping them as much, just moving them away to the southwest expansion. 
while the Archpod and Seppi just go straight to the natural. So he's not going to be able to defend against that as well as he would like, but he will be able to avoid a huge attack. And it looks like the blue time wave is actually changing around how this is going. Zion Pulsar has jumped around trying to avoid more attacks, but it is actually getting attacked more heavily. It isn't. This is the 412 mark. It looks like it's dealing less damage than it was before. So Dolmont is not in the position he'd like to be in. Moving a Zion Pulsar around the north side of the map, getting another Zion Pulsar in straight into Trillionize's base, and Trillionize's Archpod once again, well, not once again, this is the 407 mark, this is the original attack on the natural expansion, and Dolmont is moving his Zion Pulsar over to defend, or trying to defend, he does not see the Archpod, so I guess he assumes the attack is not going on, and is attacking directly, but the Archpod will be able to stop him, or at least, no, will be able to stop him, not even try, That that's total st stoppage. That Zion Pulsar is not going to be dealing any damage at all. Trillion Eyes, on the other hand, is actually stopping her attack, she's not going for it directly, Looks like she's waiting to regroup her forces near the natural expansion and trying to figure out what's going on with Dolmont's attack. Dolmont is actually getting a successful attack on the QPRPs, and he is actually dealing quite a bit of damage. But half, half health. The box itself is not looking too he healthy either. But it looks like no, this RP will be destroyed. Trillion Eyes needs to go and lift that up. From her point of view, at about the 4:33 mark, she's decided to go for an attack and getting rid of the Shinvi. Or yes, I think Shinvi and Tethvi, or at least a. No, that wasn't a Shinvir Tethra. That was another Beer class unit that was hanging out there. Still a bit of a loss, so Zion Pulsar is going to come in, and it looks like the Octopod will be able to take care of it as it comes in. So Dolmont will not be able to teleport as effectively as he would have liked. Trillion Eyes has lost... Actually, no, she hasn't avoided that attack entirely, but the attack is going to be attacking the Octas rather than attacking the resource processors that exist already. So Dolmont's doing a great job of using Skip Teleport to avoid the forces, but he isn't micromanaging as much as maybe necessary. He has tons of Chrono Energy right now. Well, not right now, not, not at the 422 mark at this point. It's about 11 orders worth, but he still has a fair amount of Chrono Energy when the battle was raging pretty well. And trying to get around here. It looks like he's just double-checking what's going on in the battle. Trillion Eyes, on the other hand, is definitely managing around her forces, getting her natural expansion built up, and gonna have to deal with the fact that this Zion Pulsar is just sitting itself right in front of where the reef is going to go. That's going to be a huge issue for Trillion Eyes, trying to get that reef in. Oh, no! No, actually, the Zion Pulsar has moved away. Wow, that was kind of silly, actually, because now the Zion Pulsar is dead, and Dolmont has no Chrono Energy with which to save it, because where it was is perfect. Okay, he is shifting it back, and no, he's just running away with it, because it was actually in a, bright, in a great spot to block that reef. But no, he's going to move it away, so Trillion Eyes will be able to successfully take this expansion, her natural expansion, jumping forward about 15 seconds. So yeah, the Zion Pulsar actually hasn't been moved yet, so Trillion Eyes does not know what's going on. The Zion Pulsar is apparently there, but Trillion Eyes has jumped back to the 443 mark and sees that the Zion Pulsar is... No, actually, did Dolmont switch it? Yes, he did, actually. Never mind, he... Skip, oh, he skipped back the healthy Zion Pulsar in, healed the first Zion Pulsar, and... No, this is not his first Zion Pulsar, this is... Which one's there? This, this is probably his first Zion Pulsar. Just gonna double check what the Observer sees. Looks like the Zion Pulsar that come back... Yes, this is his first Zion Pulsar. So this is the Zion Pulsar that was damaged, got to his base, another Zion Pulsar was in the third expansion, and actually is escaping as well to try to defend the natural. So Dolmont, very worried about this natural. Trillion Eyes has actually done a fairly good job getting... At least some map harassment, not total map control. Dolmont definitely has map control, but Trillion Eyes is doing a good job of kind of harassing the map and just making sure that Dolmont still needs to be on his feet. So from Trillion Eyes' point of view, at the 525 mark, we see her attack is going on as expected. She is getting her RPs in and isn't getting attacked from, her, from as far as she knows. However, her attack on the natural is being somewhat thwarted, not really thwarted at all, but the Seppi will be going down. The Octopod will, however, be able to deal enough damage to deal with this. And Dolmont isn't really going for air units. He's focused on this time as well. He is not going for air units. He has a foundation that seems to be built for an aerial control center, but he has not, no construction, no green little knobs in the future. So we see that no construction is occurring in the future. Dolmont is not focused on that at all. He is, however, focused on getting the Zion Turcher into Trillion Eyes' base to try to stop Trillion Eyes from actually being dealt any damage. And it looks like Trillion Eyes does not see this coming. One of Rock Buzz is getting attacked a fair bit, but not too heavily. Should be able to get out of there, no problem. Get near the reef and heal up, so that's not a big deal. What is a big deal is that Dolmont is not actually making the most of this attack. He needs to start attacking those RPs. Trillion Eyes is fully aware of this now. She can see the Zion Turcher, because I'm pretty sure Arxuses can detect Cloak. It, it doesn't say they can, but I'm fairly certain they can. So that's going to be a bit of an issue for Trillion Eyes, because she is not going to be able to... Okay, sorry, not an issue for Trillion Eyes. An issue for Dolmont, an issue that Trillion Eyes is actually going to be able to see what's going on, so really, Trillion Eyes is in a great position right now. 
And Dolmont, while he does have a fair amount of map control, does not have a huge amount of units to deal with this, and Trillionize appears to have the ground all to herself. Now Dolmont, we see he has the 8 minute mark, Trillionize is about 30 seconds behind, and Dolmont has jumped back to the 723 mark to see what's going on, realizes that his Zion Turtur is not being able to do anything effective, really should be teleporting around, he's... This is one thing Dolmont is not doing with that he could be with his vehicles, is skipping them around, although admittedly the Zion Turtur does not have skip on it, but still, skipping them around, getting skip in the first place, and then skipping them around, because Dolmont has a fair amount of money, he is getting gay tech, but once that's done, he will be able to skip around willy-nilly, and once we see that happening, then it will be very interesting. Assuming he's able to do it, and I'm not sure he's going to do it, and it looks like this Octopod will be able to get rid of the Zion Turcher, and Zion Turcher has decided to move away. No, actually, the Zion Turcher, well, it looks like the Zion Turcher is going to be sticking around for some time longer. This Octopod, however, is not getting dealt enough damage to be much used to actually continue to be attacked. And has Trillionize really moved her Arcticus away? No, she has not. The Arcticus is right where it was before, and Dolmont isn't able to deal any extra damage. But it looks like Dolmont does have Gay Tech, he does have Auto Defense, so it's going to be a bit hard for Trillionize to attack. And he is going to be focusing on getting that skipping. He does have it, but he doesn't have any skipping going on with that Zion Turcher. That Zion Turcher has been lost. He has not enough current energy to save it. But it looks like, will he be attacking with this? I think he will. It, he has enough units to skip with it. And it's just a matter of time because he has tons of Zion Turchers. Really, once his attack comes in, it looks like... Yes, it looks like Trillion Eyes is coming in with an attack, so will she be able to get in before Dolmont? That is a big question right now, and it looks like Dolmont will not be attacking fast enough, and Trillion Eyes' attack will be getting in sooner. But no, Trillion Eyes is going for a delayed attack. She is hanging around, and it looks like she has actually moved away from the attack itself. Jumping back to just double check what's going on with the attack, and it looks like neither player will see it coming before it actually happens, but no, Trillion Eyes, is she delaying the attack? Because the unplayable past is not too far below where she is right now, and... She is also setting up some production further in the future. Looks like the attack is not delayed. The attack is going on directly right now. And also we see that the attack on... Actually, Trillion is just double-checking the attack in the unplayable pass to make sure that nothing has changed in the timeline. And yes, the attack is going on and will be coming up right next to the unplayable pass again. But Tr Dolmont is fully aware of this attack coming in. He knows that he knows what's coming and it's a good thing that Trillion is attacking when she is because that slip gate is going to be coming in very powerfully. But really... Trillion Eyes should be attacking sooner, and Dolmont is going to be building up a Slipgate further in the back, and this is why the attack should have been delayed. These Zion Pulsers will be able to get out, so these Zion Pulsers did not get used for an attack. They're used very effectively for defense. Trillion Eyes looks like she's going to have to really t deal with this and actually try to defend out of this. this both Slipgates coming up now, because both Slipgates aren't being cancelled. However, not a lot of QP for Dolmont to actually deal with the chronoporting aspect of all this. And it looks like Trillion Eyes has decided to simply abort this attack entirely, or at the very least, wait on when the attack is going to happen. Trying to attack near to the unplayable pass, and it looks like that's not going to be much use either. I don't know. Will it be? Will it be much use? And no, it will not. Those Zion Turgers, or Zion Pulses, I should say, are dealing enough damage to defend against these Octopods quite effectively. Dolmont has nothing to worry about. This attack has been a complete failure. Trillion Eyes is running away once again. That is the best move she can do right now. She does not have the units necessary to deal with this. She does have Firebots coming up, and those will be the units necessary to deal with this. What she really needs, though, is to have had good defense back in the unplayable past when Dolmont is likely to be attacking. He has his slipgates. He's using them for teleportation, however. He's using them to get his units around, getting to the natural expansion, and it looks like he will be attacking. He's not going to be going for chrono He's going to be going straight for an attack and skipping straight into Trillion Eyes' base. Trillion Eyes, of course, sees this happening well before she needs to and is attacking herself. In the meantime, she has more Farpots coming in and she's going to be sending this attack. I think, will it be useful? And I think it will be these... Zion Pulsers are less organized than they were the last time Trillion Eyes tried to attack, and just so you know, we're at the 1050 mark for reference. This is less effective than the last time, but it looks like these Farpods will not be coming in fast enough. A lot of Zion Pulsers coming in. Here the Zion Pulser teleport comes in. Farpods are set up to try to help defend, and it looks like they aren't going to be much use. Will they be much? Yes, actually, they will be. Wow, that's... No, they were also much use, but the problem is that there's more test units, Zion units coming in. They are, however, doing a valiant job doing making a valiant effort to get rid of these Zion Pulses, and it looks like Dolmont has gotten a bit distracted, teleporting his units away. However, he lost almost half of his army in that attack, but Detector coming in, Shin Turcher and Teth Turcher will be dealing with that quite effectively, jumping back to the 1114 mark. Back to about one minute or so. Farpods continue to defend, and it looks like we're going from Trillion Eyes' point of view, by the way. Trillion Eyes will be able to deal a fair amount of damage to these Units, no real change to the attack right now, but Trillion Eyes also has chronoporting herself, which means she will be able to start doing some chronoporting shenanigans, and this is where it's going to get really interesting. Both players have the ability to chronoport. Dolmont has not used it yet, and neither has Trillion Eyes. Double check, we're going to jump a minute ahead from now. 
Domon, from his point of view, believes he has the attack in the bag. Trillion Eyes is doing what she can to defend, but I don't know what... We'll see what she can do. Jumping back to her point of view is at the 12-24 mark. Her far pod has not been as effective as she would have liked. She... There is a detector in there somewhere. No, it wasn't cloaked in the first place. She needs to cloak that far pod if she wants to have any chance of getting out of this. And it looks like, no, she is not cloaking that far pod. She, however, is going to be chronoporting back some of her units. Yes, she is. There's the chronoport, and the chronoport is happening actually near the attack. So she's going to be attacking these forces with a bunch of chronoported far pods before they teleport away, helping out with the defense of this base. That will at very least be able to reduce the number of forces that will be attacking her at this point in time at the 1230 mark. But... That will still not be enough. More Farpods coming in, and yes, what this Farpod needs to be cloaked, but if that does get cloaked, then it will be a No, it's not going to cloak. My goodness, that needs to be cloaked. Chilly nice. you need to cloak your Farpods. That is the best thing you need to do, because those Farpods, that's their biggest asset, is they have cloaking, and there's no detector right now for Dolmont. This Shinterger, however, is coming in, and that's going to be able to do a lot of damage. And another Chronoport is going to be happening for Chilly nice. And just going to double check. Now, after this Chronoport happens, it looks like... Yes, a Chronoport has... No, a Chronoport has a group for Dolmont. Oh, sorry, that's the Observer. Chronoport has occurred for Dolmont. Dolmont is sending back... Let's double-check what the Observer actually would see going at this point in time. A Chronoport has occurred. A Chronoport arrival will be occurring. Here we are. Chronoport arrival detected. And we see that the Chronoport arrival is... Another Teth Pulsar, which is going to be incredibly effective. Because Teth Pulsars are great anti-air units. And another Shin Turcher as well. Although the Shin Turcher is not going to be as effective, I'm afraid. that That's a Valiant Shin Turcher for going back in time after realizing it's going to die. That Shin will not be doing much at all. Trillion Eyes is fully aware of this now, and it looks like Trillion Eyes will be having to deal with this as well. She is sending back her own units, sending back another Far Pod, and she's going nuts with the current reporting as well, and it looks like we'll see. And yes, Dolmont's still dealing enough damage to be able to take care of everything Trillion Eyes has. Trillion Eyes making a Valiant effort, and this Red Time Wave will be the real truth teller, and Trillion Eyes has surrendered. I'm just going to double check this. Red Time Wave. No, even with the Red Time Wave, it looks like Actually, you know what? No. I don't know. I think Trillion Eyes might be able to get away with this. The red time wave, this is at 1239 marks, is a little bit before the chronoporting. And Trillion Eyes actually is turning around her decision. She realizes that she may have been a bit more effective than she thought she was. Though, unfortunately, these fire pods are not cloaked when they went back in time. And... No, she's she's surrendering. And no, it, is, it isn't too soon. Dolmont's chronoports were effective enough. And her his main attacks were effective enough. So she has officially surrendered... Well, she hasn't officially surrendered yet. She will officially surrender soon, but that is her unofficial surrender. Well done, though. I mean, it's quite interesting with the chronoporting, but I really wish that she had been cloaking her faropods, because, yeah, there she goes. Now she surrendered. I really wish she had cloaked her faropods, because that's the big thing faropods have, is cloaking. The chronoports were a great idea. If they were cloaked in the meantime, I, I'm just going to... Oh, I can't. I can't really go to the observer point. I can. Okay, good. The observer point of view, if we jump back to around the 13... Oh, shit, I can't get an update. Yeah, okay, game's over, so I can't actually check what's going on in the past. But what was happening was that the Fire Pods, they were getting attacked by Zion Tertia, but they weren't cloaked themselves, so... They could have helped defend if they were cloaked, they would have survived longer, would have bought Trillion Eyes enough time to get out of this, but unfortunately they weren't cloaked, which ended up costing her the game. However, that was still a very interesting game, and interesting strategy by both players, especially Dolmon. Don't really see Vector do this a lot, but it is interesting. I, maybe I should try this myself as well, because I know I have had some issues where I do tend to overextend myself at the beginning, and it may be because of over-rushing, so perhaps the rush strategies of yore are not quite as effective as they used to be. So anyway, that was an interesting game, and I don't really have any other games on the down the pipe right now, because it's kind of late and I'm going to go to bed soon. But thank you for watching this anyway, and have a good night, everyone.